be fair, lots of jurisdictions across the country are grappling with it at around the same time as we are. I'm, I'm pleased that we're leading. I'm pleased that we're moving forward in a way that I think does bring us into the 21st century. I think it aligns itself well with the growth plan. It does a host of really excellent things, but the biggest reason for the introduction of that motion, in my view, was to break down barriers, particularly as they pertain to women. If we want more women in politics, those barriers have to come down or it's going to be an anomaly having uh, a majority female council going forward. Recently, Councillor uh, Paulson were sort of like, you know, pioneers in, in this sort of thing. You basically want it so that it's not an issue anymore. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. The grace with which these women have approached the challenges is truly remarkable. And I guess there has to be a little bit of luck in that too. I mean, both of them had healthy pregnancies and healthy babies. That may not always be the case for everyone. And I think it's important the council recognizes that, acknowledges that, tries to break down barriers uh, for women in politics, for mothers in politics, and, uh, and potentially for a whole host of other reasons that were identified today, both in terms of elder care, uh, and there may be others that we haven't even considered yet. And I think the array of parental leave is uh, something to be considered. That while it's obvious the, the biological reasons where women are concerned, uh, as we identify uh, parents in a, in a 